unless for some reason you've got a zone that works it's just not wired up and it's just sitting over here loose and we need to wire it up still um or maybe you've got a couple zones because you could actually have more zones plumbed in than wired up and let me show you how that works so in order to find how many zones you have plumbed in you're going to look around your yard and try and find something like this now that particular one is a backflow box but we're going to go into the backyard and when we get into the backyard we're going to find more of these boxes usually they're a little bit smaller um you don't have to fit quite as much in them and as you can see this one has been graveled but the gravel is all covered in dirt we had to dig it up like three times and i'm sure they didn't properly gravel around the sides the very last time they put it in and so now even though it's pretty new it's well it's covered in dirt and gravel um, but nonetheless you can count there's three valves in there you see the three solenoid heads i can almost make out the three bodies and i can definitely see the three bleed screws but um, you got three valves in this box all right so put that lid back on and go find the next box and if you can find all the boxes in the yard you could just count how many valves are plumbed in and that's the best way to know how many valves are plumbed into a yard so over here looks like we got another big box and uh, you pull that one up and you can see it looks like there's definitely some kind of mud condensating in there but um, otherwise that gravel is pretty clean and those valves are pretty serviceable so there's three more valves now I know because the line elbows and ends right there that unless there was a tee off somewhere there's only six zones on this system um, six valves for six zones now sometimes if you have a poly main line if your main line is ran with like a plastic basically um, you should have a master valve on it and that would give you an extra valve up there at the front and when we were looking at the controller that very bottom p slash mv that's what a master valve is it goes right there off the backflow um, and that way your uh, your main line is not under pressure all the time because if it's just plastic pipe and it's constantly under pressure you're going to eventually get some pinhole leaks so if i was gonna put a master valve on this system and run it with a poly main line which we didn't we ran it with a pvc main line but right there is where we would put that master valve okay and right here is where we would wire it up right there and it would be wired into the same as this and usually when it's me wiring it i use my black for my master valve or my pump use white for common and then what i like to do is do red orange yellow green blue indigo violet and then the rest of it's a free-for-all but i think that's common practice with wiring this box was not wired to my standard another thing i wouldn't do is put pvc pipe right here there's just really no need to do that and if you are going to do that finish it with a proper elbow and a small stud going through the wall and then out here you know i don't mind having the uh the sleeve up on the wall to protect against weed eaters and whatnot um but a real professional would have drilled it in down lower and just sealed it and maybe done a, a small pvc piece about this tall and if you're in a landscape bed like this i wouldn't have done pvc at all because the only reason for the pvc is really to protect it from the weed eaters um so yeah, this is not something that I, I would have done. And then definitely not that nastiness. You know, nobody wants to see that in the front of their house. Like, what an obnoxious deal there. Now, what makes a real good craftsman is being able to hide their mistakes, okay? Nobody's perfect. We all are making mistakes out here. And the good news is we can hide that conduit with a bush. Um, we're just going to have to make some space for a bush, which means the sidewalk's probably going to have to come out might be easier to remove the conduit, but I already had plans to remove the sidewalk whenever we do put plants in there. So we're just gonna hide it. Um, otherwise that would already be gone, <clears throat> but it's a good teaching tool um, because it's like, it's it's something where it's like, somebody was almost did it right. You know what I mean? Like they thought they knew what they were doing, but they really just kind of missed the mark. You either got a conduit the whole dang thing and core drill through the wall for a conduit or don't conduit any of it unless maybe you need a little bit of protection from the weed eaters.